Today we are in Kidderminster at the historic Baxter United Reformed Church. It's a, a building that has many of the problems that an old church building in any town or city may have. And yet a congregation who are keen to engage in mission. Let's go and see and discover the good news that's here at Baxter. Andrew, we're here at Helping Hands Job Club. Tell me, what do you do? Well, Bax Church is running a job club to help people who are economically disadvantaged um, to find worth and value again. Why do you do this? When I was at school, the Skyvers and Strivers thing was the mantra that everyone um, had to follow. Um, and uh, I remember it being put on all the walls in the school that I was at. And, I, uh, and I think um, that our esteemed politicians, um, who are of the same background as I and went to the same schools as I would have done, um, just don't seem to appreciate that the burden of the economic um, downturn that we're experiencing has been placed on the poorest and not the most able to support themselves. for a job I like someone sitting next to me saying yeah put that or don't put that <laughs> and and it's just just help and encouragement really we all need that when we're applying for jobs I think So Maureen, you're in charge of the food bank here at Baxter. What's that all about? It's the, it's the wonderful um, response we got when we said that we needed food and money to help people who were in need. More and more is coming in from churches, from just people with very good hearts who want, who want to help the people in need. And the number of people who've come in for help have been so wonderfully happy. They've come in sometimes a bit afraid, a bit shy of coming in and really embarrassed of coming in. And they've gone away smiling saying thank you very much we you know we couldn't we couldn't have done without you but the people who who have got four or five children and that's what's growing is the number of having with large families who come in and say that they're not able to eat because they're it's more important that their children have something to eat. And what would be really good news for the future of the food bank? I think that if we no longer have to be here, our vision is that we're no longer needed. So why are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, Mike, it's a bit easier than yours. Yes. Have you got yourself together? Because <laughs> Kevin's told me to say that. He set me up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not April the 1st, it's St George's Day. 